Hello, all, and welcome back to Sickage Live, Salesforce edition. Really excited to have you here uh, live on LinkedIn, YouTube, or Facebook. So while we're apart during this COVID pandemic, we're thrilled to bring these high energy, quick formats to you live. Uh, so make sure to like and subscribe from uh, any of our channels that we're coming to you from, like I mentioned before, and uh, uh, you'll be able to get those notifications and push notifications for when we're live. Each Tuesday, our Salesforce edition is at 1 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Eastern Time. Uh, today, from the Sickage Salesforce Marketing Cloud team, we have Gretchen. Gretchen, hey, how are you? Thanks for being here. I'm great. Thank you for having me. Good to Absolutely. see you. Yeah. So um, real quick, if you want to just tell us a little bit about yourself, who you are, and uh, what you do at Sickage. Sure. Um, I am a Salesforce consultant and a Pardot consultant um, with the Salesforce team at Sickage. I've been in the marketing world for about 25 years. Um, I have been in the Salesforce ecosystem since 2008 and then um, with Sikich, um by way of acquisition since two 2013. So um, I came into the Salesforce world uh, for the client side. We implemented it. I was uh, on the marketing team at a financial for services firm in Chicago and uh, we implemented Salesforce and I just fell in love with it and, and the company and the product and jumped ship and been there ever since. Absolutely. Well, we're so glad to have you here at Sickage. And uh, let's just jump right into the ABCs of marketing with Salesforce, shall we? Sure. Yeah. Okay. Let's start with let's start with the foundation. What is Salesforce marketing? Right. Really easy kind of general question I'm throwing out there out there at you. But uh, what is yeah. it? Um, well, great question. And I think that the best way to answer that would be I kind of would break it into three different categories. Um, you've got your standard features that come with Salesforce. Um, the standard Salesforce sales cloud has several marketing features that come with it. Um, there are some limitations. There's marketing elements to it, but it's not meant to be a full service marketing tool. So um, you can use the platform for some you know, mass emails. And um, now as AI is getting more... Um, widely used. There's a lot of AI that goes along with it. So I would say just using Salesforce standard would be one element for the marketing. Um, the next one would be 
implementing any kind of third party email tool into it, uh, whether it's like MailChimp or HubSpot or one of the Pardot marketing tools. Um, and that would be the third category. Pardot has um, the marketing cloud or Salesforce has the marketing cloud and Pardot as email marketing automation tools. So I would say those three categories would cover all of the Salesforce marketing. And what is, so Pardot is a part of Salesforce, correct? And what is that, spe what does that specialize in exactly? That, that's a great question. Um, I feel like the misconception sometimes is that Pardot is part of the Salesforce marketing cloud, but it's actually two different tools. Um, the marketing cloud and Pardot are both um, email automation tools as opposed to just your standard email service kinds of tools. Um, and you can pretty much connect anything to Salesforce nowadays. Mm -hmm. um, and there are a lot of non Salesforce owned marketing tools that have Salesforce integrations. So you can flow that data straight into the platform without using a Salesforce owned marketing tool. However, I will say these tools integrate with Salesforce really well. And um, I would say if you're looking for the marketing automation, um, marketing cloud and part of are, in my opinion, a better way to go. Absolutely. I think that's a, a great model that Salesforce has around their just integration strategy because mm -hmm. that allows all of our customers, all of our, uh, you know, all these companies to really customize their solution to exactly what they need, right? Yeah. So uh, what's the difference between email marketing and marketing automation? You know, you hear those terms all the time, but, but what's, yeah. what's the difference exactly? Yeah, I feel like marketing automation has become this buzzword. Um, and there really is a difference. Um, email marketing is kind of how we used to think about marketing. You blast out, you look at opens, you look at clicks, and you know, it's kind of throwing, you know, remember that sticky hand you used to have when you were a kid, like throwing the sticky hand out to see what would come back. Um, you know, marketing tools have now got a lot more sophisticated. And these marketing automation tools, and I feel like the term automation um, makes it sound like it's automated and it's and it's easy, um, which it can be, but there's a lot more to it. Um, we're looking at personas. You know, who are these people? We're looking at um, social elements, different channels. There's landing pages and forms and um, being able to track an entire journey of your customer. So um, it really leans more towards how engaged are our customers a constituents with us? And on the other side, how much do we care about them? Mm -hmm. Right? It's a bigger picture. And then the reporting that comes in and ROI and being able to track efforts and tie it back. There's just, um, there's a lot to it. Absolutely. To it. You know, and so we talked a little bit before about marketing cloud and Pardot, right? Mm -hmm. What, how do you make a decision on which one you should choose? Great question. Um, so Pardot is typically tagged as the B2B. Mm -hmm. That marketing cloud is more business to consumer. Yep. Um, that that journey that comes with marketing cloud um, is very specific. Although I will say, Pardot is becoming more well rounded. Um, they're coming out with some account based marketing and things like that. So both of the tools continue to service both of those areas in general, Pardot's considered the more B2B, marketing clouds, the more B2C. Is there differences in complexity? There are, yeah. So um, the marketing cloud is going to bring in um, a couple of different features with SMS. Um, you know, Pardot can do that with an added tool, but it really is meant to um, more of a, it's got more of a drip campaign um, they call it engagement, but um, more of that drip campaign. Um, 
and engaging your customers and constituents through um, email marketing. There is social elements to Pardot, but the marketing cloud is more, I would say, complex in the channels that you can engage. Absolutely. Okay. So um, I want to kind of debunk some Salesforce myths, maybe some true or false okay. things throw out at you. Is that okay? Yeah, no problem. Okay. So um, here's one. Uh, Salesforce only integrates with its own products. No, that's false. Um, uh, I think we mentioned that before. There are many tools out there. Um, and a lot of our customers come to us with existing marketing tools. Um, and we know a lot of those in the space and we can get those set up. Marketing automation isn't necessarily for everyone. It might not fit what you're trying to do at the moment. So um, yeah, there's a lot of great tools out there. And I think Salesforce does really well at integrating with those tools. Absolutely. Um, here's another true and false for you. Uh, mm -hmm. Marketing automation is only for enterprise level business. False. Ugh. I feel like um, marketing automation really can be for everyone. And I'm going to put a little asterisk next to that. Um, have a plan. Mm. I don't feel like it's worth investing in a marketing automation tool if you're not going to use the features along with it. As you're implementing it, absolutely ha have a plan. One thing from start to finish. Um, I think you can get really distracted with all of the bells and whistles that come with all of these tools. So, you know, start slow and build it out. But if you're only doing email marketing, it doesn't make sense to go with an automation tool. However, if you have a wide reach and a really savvy marketing department and you want to expand in that and you're a small business, it could be a huge benefit huge benefit. We have a lot of clients that are smaller, even some startups that are getting great advantages from both of those tools. Absolutely. And one thing that comes to mind before I get back to our true and false game here, the, um, you know, what is the importance of bringing on, you know, this is an, some people may think this is an IT, when you make a plan, I should, I should, mm -hmm. think, people think that you should bring on the IT department and then you bring in the marketing department. How, don't they need to work together on, on something like that? For sure. Um, ideally, you have a CRM set up already. And um, you're going to want to have your marketing team for sure. The people that are going to be in it every day. Yeah. You're going to want to include your Salesforce administrator. Um, definitely your design folks as well. At the very beginning, with the configuration, you may need to bring in your web team or your IT team or who's ever running your email um, service mm -hmm. just for some technical setup. But beyond that, you really just need your business experts and your marketing experts to move forward with that. Absolutely. And that executive buy-in, right? Oh, for sure. Right. If you... Um, if you really want to be successful in getting this off the ground and getting it started, again, CRM first, make sure you've got that set up. Know how that's working. Um, and then come up with your plan, your marketing plan. It's so important to have that ahead of time. Um, and work with a consultant. If you're not sure, Let's look at the, if you don't have a current process that you want to mirror or that you have something in place already, we can help you get that set up. Start small, something that shows a lot of value to your executives, right? And then once you can start reporting, once you've got ROI, once you can start as all marketers, like tying your efforts <laughs> back to revenue is huge. And once you can start doing that and showing the value in a really concrete way, then you're going to get more support in the tool moving forward. Absolutely. Yeah. I think that's great insight. Sorry, I went off on a tangent there, but um, <laughs> I knew it was something that I thought was important to ask. So I'll, I'll get back into the, the true and false here for a second. We've got about two more. Um, so is marketing automation is robotic or too impersonal? 
Um, no, opposite, right? Marketing automation allows you to dig into that persona mm -hmm. of your customers or prospects or con constituents. Um, you're able to find out so much more about them. And with automation, you've got dynamic content. You can do progressive profiling, which essentially is not like asking them a thousand questions at once. If you already have a piece of information, the next time they engage with you, you can kind of drip that next question to them. And then the more you know, the more targeted you could be with your information. Or even better yet, knowing that they're not a good fit. And just taking that person out of the equation, right? And re-engaging them in some other way, but also knowing who's not interested is a huge value. Absolutely. It creates more personal, you know, touches to that, to that contact. So absolutely. Okay, last a true or false here. You should have a solid marketing plan. We've talked about this. You should have a solid marketing plan before purchasing a marketing automation tool. I'm, I'm going to stay true. I am. I'm going to stay true. It doesn't happen all the time. I will say that. Um, a lot of people come to us and they say, you know, we've, they'll make their Salesforce and um, Pardot or Marketing Cloud purchase at the same time. That's fine. Especially, I mean, I'm not getting, getting into the pricing and things like that, but maybe it was a situation where it was, it made economic sense to do that, purchase those things at the same time. Before you start that implementation, definitely come up with a plan, stick to the plan, make sure everybody is in agreement on the plan because it, again, you can get very distracted by all of the wonderful things these tools can do. And then you just kind of get lost in the muck for like lack of a better term, you can get really distracted. So just, Come up with your plan, stick to the plan, roll that one thing out from start to finish, show the value, have that reporting, and um, get your team comfortable with some basics to start. So I'm interested in, in you know, letting our audience know what to do next, but one thing I wanna mention and ask you is, you know, not only do we have the uh, you know, Salesforce Marketing Cloud and Pardot, um, that Sickage, you know, specializes in and specializes in and, and can help, you know, our clients and uh, other organizations. But we also have a design branch here at Sickage, right? Yeah. Help with marketing plan and design. Absolutely. Um, and PR, right? Yeah. There's a whole element of Sickage that um, we partner with where if clients, you know, before we had that, you know, partnership, um, it was clients would come to us. And for me, I get, I have some design knowledge. I know enough HTML to be like really problematic. <laughs> <laughs> um, you know, I have brain marketing background, but I've always been supported by designers. They know the HTML, they know how to, to lay out and it's beautiful and it's slick and it's nice. That's not my strong suit. So yes, we do have that team where if, we get into the plan and decide maybe this content's not the best. Um, maybe we're not rolling out these press releases like we should. Maybe the copy isn't as great as we want it to be. Um, yeah, we can assist in that for sure. Um, we partner together all the time. I love that it's a one-stop shop, right? Yes. Yeah. Um, excellent. So, uh, you know, what what do we do next? Where do we go from here? If, if anyone's interested in uh, the services that we provide. Sure. Um, well, definitely you can reach out. Um, you can reach out to anyone on this call directly or reach out through Sickage. Um, and again, if you're interested in one of those Salesforce marketing options, um, reach out again, Salesforce first, get that, get that CRM up and running. Um, and you know, we can even do two trains running down the track, but get those basics in, in order first. Great. Yeah. Well, uh, Gretchen, that's all I have for you today. Thanks so much for being here with us and answering all of my questions. I appreciate it. Yeah. Excellent. Well, um, thanks everyone for joining our live today. We'll be back with our Salesforce edition next week at 1 p.m. Central Time, 2 p.m. Eastern. So make sure to check us out there. Like and subscribe, as I always say, and we'll see you next time. Thanks again, Gretchen. Bye.